Andy Murray shoots for the world number two spot, and the Williams sisters' new movie trailer has hit the web. Good day, tennis fans, and welcome to the Tennis Now News Update show. The pressure is on Andy Murray as he closes in on the title in Miami. If Murray wins the tournament, he will pass Roger Federer and ascend into the second place in the rankings. But Murray claims not to be thinking about the number two spot. He told reporters yesterday, quote, winning matches is my goal, and by doing that, the rankings should take care of themselves. Maria Sharapova will play the fifth Sony Open final of her career this weekend. Despite having reached the finals, she has never won the tournament. In 2005, Sharapova lost to Kim Clijsters in the finals. In 2006, after winning Indian Wells, she lost the Miami final to Svetlana Kuznetsova. In 2011, it was Victoria Azarenka who made Sharapova a runner-up, and last year in 2012, Sharapova was beaten by Agnieszka Radvatska. Now she faces her toughest opponent yet, in the five-time Miami champion in world number one, Serena Williams, who she has not defeated since 2004. Serena Williams is not only shining in Miami, but she and her sister Venus will soon be shining on the big screen. The documentary film Venus and Serena takes an unfiltered look into the remarkable lives of the great sister act professional tennis has never seen. Let's take a look at the newly released trailer. What do you want to be when you grow up? Tennis player. I would like to be a tennis player. Two black girls from Compton probably weren't supposed to ever play tennis, let alone be really good at it. My parents told me it'd be number one in the world. <laughs> I was brainwashed. When she won her first pro tournament, the media just went through the roof. I was there, I was watching, it was, I couldn't believe it. I went up to Richard and I said, I think you got the next Michael Jordan on your hand. And he goes, no brother man, I got the next two. The documentary will be available on demand April 4th, 2013, and opening theatrically May 10th, 2013. Sony Open Tennis event organizers announced plans beginning in 2014 for an expansion on the facilities at Crandon Park. The $50 million improvement project will create three new courts, including a 6,000-seat grandstand, a 4,000-seat court one, and a 3,000-seat court two. Additional improvements planned for the current main stadium, player facilities, and broadcast media center as well. Construction on the new facilities is expected to start at the end of the tournament in 2014 and be completed by 2015. That's all for today's Tennis Now News Update. Do you want Murray to take the number two spot from Federer? What do you think of the new William Sisters documentary? Let us know in the comments section below or on Facebook and Twitter. And be sure to jump on over to our website at TennisNow.com to sign up for the weekly Fuzz newsletter so you can get your tennis highlights sent straight to your inbox. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.